Welcome back everyone to the Lobster Rule Week 1 series, or series Week 1. We are in, in the winner's finals, Dregs versus Randy, and they are going to be playing on Prestige. Okay, this is something that I... We've seen... No, it was Dregs and Gold we saw on Prestige a couple times, and that that led to some interesting games for the last tournament. Now, it's been a month or two since that last tournament, and we have... Well, okay, depending on how you count it, it's technically been like six weeks since the last tournament but it has been technically two months ago because it was november anyhow we are kind of see i'm curious if dregs is going to go for the corners which they decided to after those ill-fated golden matches but looking at the cursor they are kind of angling towards the center randy on the other hand decided going pure corner with spiders and everything else because well that makes sense i mean really when you think about it having spiders just makes sense in this map so Randy going for the spiders. Well, okay, can make sense. It's a pretty flat map, but the edges, the edges make spiders make sense. And Dreg's going for the center with Amphibots, no less. Okay, well, I, I feel like I've been shunted back in time by a few months because this is what happened the last time, or the first time I saw Prestige, and I saw Dreg's on Prestige, and it was spiders versus Amphibots, and Dreg's had a hell of a time actually doing anything because they were in the center and getting hit from all sides around the back line because these are ramps that can be taken by anybody actually not just spiders but definitely spiders will take them and dregs had nothing to answer for that i do expect them to go for a few lobsters though just to be able to throw the units around otherwise though randy is probably gonna be starting up pretty strong here I wonder if Dregs is thinking, oh, no, not spiders again. Seriously? But, I mean, Randy and Dregs practice all the time, so I'd expect that they would have some degree of familiarity with how this matchup would work out. Which actually makes me pretty excited, because I'm curious to see what has been figured out. Dregs naturally going for archers to deal with the fleas. Ducks will still be useful for when venom, if and when venoms pop out. Which is when there are venoms coming out. Fully on the other hand, oof. Well, so much for that wind generator. Well, slows down a bit, gets the... Okay, so that's repairing, that's using the remaining energy to repair. It's five energy per second to repair. Well, it's build power of workers, or build power of constructors being used energy per second for repair. The drag isn't actually slowing down their factory production any. And buying quite a bit of time. That's a clever move. They probably would have lost all their wind generators had they, or tidal generators rather, had they not been repairing. So, a pretty clever move on Dregs' part. However, Dregs hasn't really managed to get anything in on their own. I mean, they can't really hit anything here. Okay, never mind what I said. No, ducks, ducks don't, ducks don't beat Venom, especially not mod, not new Venom. <laughs> ducks don't have the range. Boys will. Boys absolutely will, and I expect we'll be seeing those pretty soon. Or no, just archers. Okay, archer, lobster, I could see that. No, enough archers, the Venoms won't be able to deal with it anyway. So, interesting choice. However, that... Uh, duck's boxed in. Same time, though, Dregs is setting up around the size of the map. I'm waiting to see if they're going to build half a dozen lotuses along the north edge here, which they often will do. But I expect they won't. It's not generally the best strategy. Not from a cost efficiency perspective, anyway. Apart from that, though, Dregs focusing entirely on their archers. They have a lobster coming up later. Looks like they just want to contain as best they can and then set up that lobster once they have about half a dozen archers. Use that to, I suppose, throw the, all the archers onto the factory. They pull that off. That's a win. And if they pull that off, Randy has nothing. However, I don't expect these archers are going to survive long enough to actually get to that point. I mean, the recklesses are going to be a bit of an issue. But more importantly, you know, Randy is building this entire time. I mean, they're attacking. This, this contain might be broken. The archers are not coming out quickly. Mostly because they're pretty expensive, honestly, and Dregs only has 20 metal per second, barely. 
and they're only using 15 or 17 and a half of that no oh. yeah 17 and a half of that on the factory still building defenses hey i was right i was right a bunch of lotuses over to the north or a bunch of defenses over to the north granted that's also with randy building a competing wall of defenses so i suppose that makes a bit more sense Ah, oh, but this is what I was talking about. The archers aren't going to survive long enough to get to this point where they're actually thrown by the lobster. The dregs, they're going to have to take a little bit more time to actually set up that archer throw. And it looks like that could be a bit of a problem. Because it's clear that their idea is they want to throw units onto the top levels and then bypass all these defenses and come in, but... Randy, I don't think it's even going to let them get close. Just to be perfectly honest, it looks like Randy... I mean, for one thing, Randy is getting all this initiative over to the north side of the map. I mean, Dregs, they're building a bunch of defenses, but Randy at the same time is using that distraction to get these units over to the south, while Dregs is focused entirely on the north side of the map. However, we have... We have our lobster. Nothing else. We do have the lobster. And that might actually work? No, I don't think so. The problem is now, again, Randy has all these defenses along the path to their main base, and Dregs, if they were to try to lobster units into the main base, wouldn't have a chance because, well, they get torn apart by by Venom Redback. That's, that's just what's in the way. I mean, Valiant Effort, I just don't think the numbers are there yet. Dregs, however is in a solid position economically so they could build up the numbers they don't have to attack immediately they they can get half a dozen archers and if they have any other options to throw in like boys throw those in too i mean yeah the north side's being torn apart a bit but honestly that's not a huge loss metal wise in 2.5 metal per second compared to you know the reclaim granted the reclaim loss is pretty big dregs moving their commander back being bullied out by the recluses that's the real story. Randy is able to get a 10 metal per second advantage on Reclaim alone. I mean, that's all going to excess because they don't have the caretakers to use it, but still, they do have that advantage. Dregs, on the other hand, they are using all their metal. So right now, yeah, the metal income is different, but metal use is about the same. Ah, and there's the throw. Archer's coming in here, takes care of a recluse, goes to take care of the commander. A lot of defenses in the way, and that is not going to let the archers really do much damage. Smart move overall, though. Did at least break some of the bullies, allow Dregs to get some reclaim of their own, and it's worth noting, Dregs has plenty more storage space and plenty more production capacity, so they can make full use of the reclaim. Or at least to the extent which they have energy structures. Something which they don't really have many of right now. Actually, that's a bit of a problem, but they still have enough energy and storage that it's not going to be the biggest problem. And now it looks like we have another lobster throw coming in here. More archers coming in. Thrown at the commander. I see dregs. They want the commander dead. And they will have a expansion dead. That's actually quite a bit, honestly. That's a lot. That opens up this entire section. Dregs can reclaim the lot. And they still are pulling the commander. Randy losing the commander. That's the in like, Basically, that's it for building the north side of the map. Dregs can now take that over. That could be what decides the game. And over here, there's just... A couple lotuses and a picket. Archers are not going to care. Taking on the metal extractors, opening that all up. Now, Randy does have a lot of redundant metal, or had a lot of redundant metal. And now no more. Randy is falling apart. And if I said dregs back there, I meant Randy. Randy has redu had redundant metal. No longer does. But also doesn't really have a whole lot to contest this that can build. I mean, granted, their entire army is over here, which is contesting it. Or is holding on to it, but it's that's it. Like they have to invest their entire army here, whereas Dregs just has their commander. And the commander can go do the reclaim. And the reclaim is going to be massively valuable for Dregs because they're already ahead economically. Archers, however, can't really move out of the water, unfortunately. They will die if they do so. They have moved out of the water, they are indeed dying. Unfortunately, archers do surface to fire, so this is kind of a tricky situation. Same time, though, we do have... Okay, wait, 
really? We have we have conscious coming in here too? Okay, well the archers. Oh never mind, those are yeah, that is a conch. That was the one with the lobster. A conch coming in here. No, two conches! That was just smash and grab. That's literally what that, that's what it is. The smash and grab strategy. I like it. That's that works in this case. That was a robbery. Very efficient one of that too. Now, should point out at the same time, Randy is trying to do the same thing that Gota once did when we saw in a tournament a couple tournaments ago against Dregs on this map. They went around the side and made basically a backyard attack. But I don't think Dregs is worried. They have they have a much stronger army. They are completely ripping apart Randy's economy. Randy really doesn't have much else other than this one army. And this one army is scary, don't get me wrong. It looks like Dregs, however, expects they can win whatever trade might come. And I gotta say, I can see why they think that. I mean, they can easily push all these units onto the top, smash through the Lotus, and then, well, that'll be that. No, not even going for that. Just basically avoiding any range issues. Risky strategy there, losing a few archers, but it does break apart the entire army. Opening up everything in the bottom. The Redback not even able to get in to deal the damage. The archers are too strong. I'm a little surprised we didn't see the lobster throw everything over to the top, but at the same time, Randy now literally only has this one army. Now, granted, this army is scary. The grizzly's not done yet, and that's all there is in the main base, which is why I recommend building plates. But this lotuses and stingers are still doing their job. Dregs looking very strong here, frighteningly so. However, this map being what it is, there's only so great a metal advantage one can have, and Randy, as a result, is not as far behind as it may look. Their army's still up. They still have targets. Targets they're going for quite effectively. And that Lotus gets rid of the Venom, but at the cost of its own life, there's nothing left except for this Grizzly and units that are reasonably well equipped to deal with it. However, so few Recklesses will not be able to stop the Grizzly. And that looks like it'll be it for that assault from Randy. Same time, the Archer's just cleaning up the center of the map, every single point in the center here, all six of them now under Dregs' control. Randy only having the corners and edges of their start location, and that's it. And also a great deal of reclaim. That That's helping them a lot. It's keeping them in, at least for the time being. But even that won't be enough, necessarily. I do kind of wish Dregs set up a conch to build some more power plants, though. Or just got these conches out of the way. So they didn't die. Okay, well, Dregs just decided to throw two conches away for nothing. A little bit of a shame there. But still, Dregs, they're quite ahead. They can kind of get away with it. Oh! Widow coming in here to take out the lobster. Unfortunately, that probably was meant for the grizzly instead. Well, even with that, it wouldn't have been enough. Still, Dregs, they did lose that. So they lost the Southwest. I don't know what happened to the conches there. Anyway, with that said, there's just one more push here from Randy over to the South. I, I am underconfident about his chances, but at the same time, the Weaver is coming in here and is at least distracting the archers, giving Randy a bit more room to come in. Dregs, they should see what's happening here. Yeah, they see what's happening. They do see what's happening. Yeah, they do. Okay. So Dregs is well aware. I, okay, thanks, Belzamon. Please don't spam deck chat with stuff. I, 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 You're welcome. Thank you, but please do that privately. <laughs> If you want to thank me, please do it privately. Anyhow, with that... Grizzly coming in here. Archers as the support. Fleas are coming in, but the archers are already there. Oh, the archers are not doing so hot, but there's still four of them left, so... As much as they may be having some struggles, they are still going to be able to get rid of all these fleas. Many at once, and Randy, that was their last-ditch effort, of course, and that is it. 
throw in the towel. Greg Dregs moves on to the to the grand finals. Nicely done, Dregs. And Randy and Google Frog. No, not Randy and Google Frog. Randy and whoever wins between Ted McRed and Bloa will be going at it as the as the second champions. So yeah. Wait, what? Oh, shit, this got backwards. What? Ah. All right. Dregs moves on. Randy is in lower bracket finals, and we are going to be moving on from that. So I think Temecred and Blow is ongoing. I'll just go through to a break, and then we'll be back with the loser semifinals in just a few minutes. So stay tuned. 